So, so you may wonder why we haven't posted anything on Coa's progress and the reason why there was nothing was because there was no progress and we kept working on the same old things over and over and it just didn't, the fear was still there, he'd be really jumpy, he was really um, nervous around us, even like a year in he was still nervous, I mean, so anyway, so we asked um, a friend of a friend who was an animal communicator for help. And what happened was she came for a session and she said, well, and I always thought he was untouched. At the BLM they told me he was untouched, he was born there, and he's ready to, you know, learn stuff. Turns out though he had been adopted before, possibly to a tip trainer. What are you doing? <laughs> and then we turned. And also that he had been turned out and the halter grew in and they couldn't get hold of him anymore and he, he was treated really roughly and you can see it on his nose right there where the halter grew in and I, weird to me that I never noticed that but it's really there. So after we get that clarified now I have been working on um, trauma and post-traumatic stress release. So um, one thing that was very obvious to me is he needed to learn how to trust us first and camping with them really helped with that. And we're only doing positive reinforcement. We will not teach with anything that's painful, scary, or will bring back memories from um, from before where he got like trapped and hurt. And so we're just doing positive reinforcement. So I just want to see you where we're at now, and we hope it's going to work out. Back up, and it'll come back. And we've been trying now with sandals and we call it used to jeans. Get him used to the idea to have someone sit on his back. So I'm going to go, Koa, you ready for Mr. Jeans? Yes? You ready? And you see the little nudge? He tells me, yes, I'm ready. And then we're going to put Mr. Jeans on. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> and then he'll get a positive report, which we have carrots and hay. And he has plenty of hay around. And right now I'm teaching him on an acre of pasture space. <laughs> so... No worries. So here's Mr. Jeans getting back up. And he's so relaxed now with it, which is so surprising because before that, any movement there was a little bit quicker would scare him. Let's see, you ready for the saddle? Put the saddle on. Let me know if you're ready. You ready? See how he comes closer? He says yes. So, there. Put the saddle on him. Good boy. <laughs> so, I'm waiting for his sign that he's ready. When he nuzzles me with his nose or he steps towards me, he lets me know I'm ready now. And so, this has been very, very helpful. Anyway, I think from now on we'll make better progress and faster. I'm very grateful for Jen Hermel's help with finding out what's wrong with him. Thanks for watching.